While cycling through the suburbs of Fort Lauderdale, um, we went, I was very fortunate to, uh, to go past a flock of ibis. I didn't know they were ibis. They're small little white birds, about this big, I think, um, on the grass verge in somebody's garden. And apparently that's what they like to do. Uh, they get all the bugs and things where the grass is short. Ibis, of course, is, the, um, is, is represented on the back of the, uh, is the Book of Tars book. And she's, she's represented here as the goddess Toth, or Tahuti, and you can see her curved bill here. Um, as I, Ibis is the goddess, goddess uh, to do with Toth, and she is, Toth is very much associated with communication and writing, and is generally shown with, um, not on this example, um, shown with um, a pen or a scribe, so it's a recorder or the messenger of the gods. The, uh, the bill of the, of the ibis is curved, very much like the crescent moon, so there's a very powerful association with the lunar god, goddess as well, Kansu or Ya, and, uh, which means moon. And so ibis also re relates to time, the passage of time, the lunations, the lunar periods, and um, all these kind of things. And it has the, it's very much to do with the lunar eye as well. There's two eyes of the gods. There's Ra, there's the solar eye, and Ibis has the lunar eye. So it's a very apt symbol, I think, if, if you think about it, for, for the tarot deck, because it represents communication, expression, recording. Um, Ibis is the god who, who uh, with the pen and the paper and the parchment, uh, records and writes down the hieroglyphics, the symbols of ancient Egypt. And it also, she also is able to give you the sense of the passage of time, when things happened and when things moved on. I, I just never thought when I come to Florida that I, would, I wanted to go to Egypt and Florida ended up here instead. And um, I found myself talking about these ancient Egyptian things, as this curious parallel between the two countries. And Egypt, of course, is, um, is baking hot in the desert with a one narrow strip where the Nile is and where the fertility is. And of course, uh, Florida is, a, is, a, is an isthmus, it's an, it's an Arab peninsula. And on the, on the east side, of course, we have the Atlantic with the Gulf Stream moving up. And on the other side, we have the Gulf of Mexico. And, um, and in the center, um, we also have the Everglades and things. But actually, if it was without, the, um, um, without man and, and all the um, industrialization and um, creating the roads and the houses and everything else, We'd also just have this trip with the, with the water flowing down through where all the animals, the gods of Ibis and Toth, where they would also be there, and the gods of Sebek, and, and the hawks, and the herons, and all these beautiful animals you get here. They're very similar, very similar in many respects to the animals that you see in, in, in Egypt today.